You know, the definition of, of worship is really reverence, to devote yourself to something. You know, for people not involved in the church, I mean, a, a great picture of worship would be, I mean, go to the local stadium or wherever you're at, go to a national football game. I mean, you've got all these people gathering, 50 to 70,000 people cheering on their favorite team. I mean, they have the uniforms, they have everything. They are basically worshiping the people that are performing for them. You know, within the church, worship can be prayer, fasting, um, meditate, you know, to think about God, praise. I would say probably the most common one that, that you hear a lot is praise. But unfortunately, I think sometimes we've kind of watered that down to maybe just music. So when you think of worship, a lot of times people automatically think worship. And then we go a little step further and we say, well, either it's contemporary or it's traditional worship. But really, God's main objective for worship to be a lifestyle, a decision that you choose to make as a believer. You know, there's a lot of things that we put in our lives that, you know, take the place of God. You know, whether it's the car you drive or the job you have, whatever it may be, those are things that you choose to worship. Sometimes those things become idols. But God's main focus is that our time and energy is focused on Him. And that's true worship. That is a lifestyle that we choose to live. So if I could sum up worship, I would say, what's important to you? And what do you choose to live your life for? That's worship.